The second time this week when a Minnesota's largest school district is changing its back to school plans. Osseo area schools will now start their school year remotely for the first two weeks. WCCO's Liz Collin talked to parents about the latest change of plans. Good morning, board members. Thank you for meeting at this early hour. The day started with yet another meeting for the Osseo School Board. Earlier this week, they voted to push back the school start date. There's really no clear, easy answers. It's hard to find solutions that everyone will agree on. Now parents learn the district will do distance learning for the first two weeks of the year before switching to a hybrid model. It's been a lot to keep track of. It is a lot to keep track of. Summer Halgo has been taking all of it in stride. Her third grader will attend an optional distance learning academy offered by the district, but her sixth grader will adhere to the hybrid model when it starts the end of September. It sounded to me like there was still some work to be done. It's a decision Halgo supports. The district cited high COVID-19 case numbers in Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Park and staff preparedness as the reasons for the delay. Like many families, the Halgos have made sacrifices. Summer left her job to be able to help her kids navigate the uncertainty Certainty. At that time, I knew it would push me over the edge to help with their schooling and work and all the other things that come with a family. Still, she is choosing to stay positive as a parent with a new role. I feel like I've gone from the sidelines where it's just, you know, I've been handing my kids over to school and I feel like a participator in their education. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. The Osseo School District also has twice as many students now enrolled in its distance learning academy than it had originally planned for. More than 5,000 students have enrolled so far. The shift of teachers, buildings, and other resources were also factors behind the delay.